this bitch travels the wide welcome back welcome to your good new to genuine case y'all we back again with part four of life is strange still with exposure i hope you guys are ready i'm excited i am ready honestly and yeah let's just cut to the chase and get into it Safi loved lazy Sunday afternoons. Safi knew how to be serious when she needed to, but she was just such a dork. Whenever she spoke, you just couldn't help but want to listen. Safi cared so much about everything she did. Her passion should live on. Well, I did the best I could. Guess I should go find Moses. I should talk to Moses. He's waiting for me in the fab. Moses is waiting for me in the fab. I told Moses I would meet up with him after I was done talking to Yasmin. Moses should be in the fab. I wonder if Moses has gotten his hot chocolate yet. I told you, don't contact me on this phone. And texts only, no calls. Hmm, this sounds interesting. Well, I'm, I'm sure the police know that already, even if... I understand that, but did they find anything? Interesting call? Uh, Loretta, jeez, she's 
scared the hell out of me. Did you need something? Need? Nah, I was just curious about Dr. Hunter's phone call. Seems I'm not the only one. Wow. <laughs> Caught in the act. I swear I used to be better at this kind of thing. Did you? That sounds like a story I should hear. Well, since you're not busy, maybe you could help me out, you know? One snoop to another? I'm not, I... Just hold on. Let me relocate. What can I do for you? You could give me a quick soundbite for my podcast. Um, maybe? Tell me a little about it first? Part journalism, part analysis, investigative type stuff. The human condition. You get it. I guess that's fine. What do you need? Just for background, you were close friends with Safi Llewellyn Fayet. Oh. Um... You're asking about Safi? Why? It's a reasonable question, considering you were the last person to see her alive. I... Is it true she used school resources for personal purposes and that her mother turned a blind eye? I'm not gonna help you smear Safi. If you're not into it, I'll just go interview Dr. Hunter instead. I'm sure we'd have a lot to talk about. You're bluffing. You were trying to listen in too. You said so yourself. Oh, shit. Hi, Professor. I just thought you might want to know that Miss Caulfield's been listening to your calls. Loretta, I don't know how you have time to be a snitch when you still owe me revisions. Beat it. What a little shit. But she's not a liar. Anything you want to tell me, Max? I wanted to check on you. You seem so upset in the library earlier. Max, I don't like to be pitied. And I like fake pity even less. Leave me alone. You know, I really thought we were cool. Just stay out of my way. Fantastic. Anything else want to go wrong today? Might as well pack it all in at once. Oh, that. Far be it for me uh, to question the wisdom of our great I man. That I but I why are we handing out roses for some dead shit? No one even seems to want one. Not our standard Abraxas mission. Gwen did just tell me to stay out of her way. Does that mean she really is up to something? be it for me to question the wisdom of our great man. But why are we Thanks for nothing, Khaled on campus security. And I thought Amanda couldn't get any cuter. If I can break into a bowling alley, I'm sure these chuckle fucks can bypass a dorm lock. Hello there. Which mailbox did you fall out of? Looks like somebody's been passing notes in class. Ugh, of course. 
course the sender doesn't put a name on it. Okay, who are you, DGH? Don't think Alistair is my guy. The lone H in this name tells me she's probably not my gal. Gwen Hunter, PhD. Dr. Gwen Hunter, DGH. Wait a sec. This is about that book that got moved to the display case. So the book Gwen needed had a message inside it. I think I'm gonna hold on to this. I wonder if Moses has gotten his hot chocolate yet. Of course, nothing can happen on campus without some kind of Abraxas commentary. Oh, uh, I hope you like the rose. Is that a penguin head in the spokes? Moses seemed really torn up earlier. Took this right after I left Arcadia Bay. I think that's the most alone I've ever felt. Okay, Max. It's painting. Ugh, oh, I can't even look at this right now. My old stuff is just cringe. I remember that. <laughs> 1995 What's that saying? If you're going through hell, keep going? That's yeah, Safi told me to look at this whenever I feel like an imposter. To remind me that I've earned this. I'll do it, Safi. I promise. Coffee, for when you lose your will to live. Poor Moses. He seems so out of it. I don't even think he got his hot chocolate. I don't even know where to start. Hey, I'm sorry I didn't return your texts or call you. I should have. I get why you didn't. Really. I'm sorry too. Probably should have given you some 
space. Listen, the last few days have been hell, but we're both here now, and we're going to get through. I just, I keep replaying it in my head. Could we have done something? Gotten there sooner or called her when she didn't come back? Why didn't one of us go with her, Max? Why did we let her walk off alone like that? Don't. Don't torture yourself. We can't change any of it. What if I can't do this, Max? You can't. Neither of us can. Not alone. But the next time you need me, I'll be there. I swear it. Safi weighs heavily on us today. In fact, my best-selling novel speaks to this precise moment. Safi disliked my book, ironically, but sales don't lie. And being remembered for one's words is a kind of immortality. Grief is fleeting. But words... Words are deathless. They endure. I want to honor Safi Llewellyn and pay tribute to her unique voice. Hence why we're holding class on the quad Is today. Lucas? Comanero, head of the lit department. God, what a pretentious creep. Safi hated his guts. I don't give a shit what Lucas does. You shouldn't either. It just bugs me seeing him up there, basking in everybody's sadness. Safi never found the audience that so few of us enjoy. It's up to us to keep her fire burning. Tell me that shutting him up won't make me feel better. It won't. But... I wouldn't blame you for trying it anyway. I'll find you later. I can't watch this. Ugh, Lucas gets under my skin. I could try to shut him up. Or I could just stay out of it and go keep Moses company. Street. I pause to catch my breath. A receding shadow lurks. Jeez, Lucas. Your class must be freezing. Jeez, what a dick. And I feel a forgotten hope, like a crack of light across my heart. A wild, stirring arrhythmia. Here if you need anything. Morning is here at last. Extra security, so why don't I feel any safer? Where did Moses head to? Poor Moses. He really hasn't been the same since that night. It's weird. Nobody here saw her. It's just you and me. I feel so disconnected from all of them. It's different, doesn't it? 
Hey. I have a question about Sophie. Okay. What's the deal with this bench? You tease to sit here all the time. Oh, yeah. Guess we did, huh? Uh, this was our lunch bench when we were both teaching summer school. For someone so chatty, she really got the appeal of comfortable silence, you know? Hey, Max. Yeah. I'm going to use present tense for just a little longer. I'm not ready for Safi to be a was yet. I'm with you, Moses. Go ahead and stay present tense as long as you want. Just a little longer. How did you guys meet anyway? I never asked. It's not much of a story. I came to Caledon late, mid-year. Safi was assigned to give me the big, shiny grad student tour. I think she saw it as a chore. Doesn't Yasmin have a VIN for that? Exactly. But uh, then she saw this bracelet I got in Kyoto. A little cherry blossom. I've always liked that bracelet. She just finished a poem called Hanami. It means watching blossoms in Japanese. I haven't thought about that in a while. Okay. I think I might need a little alone time. Probably just as well. I gotta get over to the observatory anyway. You'll text if you need anything? Yeah. Promise. You too. Yeah? <laughs> no, no. You want to go in aggressive with the red dick. Hit hard and don't let up. Lose more tactically. Moses? It's not rock, paper, scissors. Any color deck can beat any other with the right cards. Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> Later. What the hell was that? Where's that other Moses? How do I bring him back? Where is that other Moses going? I come in peace. Declare your allegiance. Come on, Diamond. Seriously? Conscientious objector. That's what they all say. I'm unarmed, okay? Just want to get out of Coco. That's it. Snowball's down. Let the observer pass. What is going on? What am I seeing? Better keep following Moses until I figure it out. Gotta keep following that other Moses. I need to figure out what's going on.
Where is that other Moses going? I gotta keep following that other Moses. I need to figure out what's going on. happening. This is real. Probably afraid you'll charge the whole thing to a car. Oh my god, dude. Go. It's too cold for this. That really was Sophie. I think I have to get to her. I can hear her. Sophie! I'm right here! Right in front of you! Fuck it. I got pizza rolls in my office. Are. Thought I was gonna freeze to death. What are we wearing today, y'all? I'm like this color on her. But I also like the red one. Okay, outdoor can be... Outdoor can be that. Indoor can be...
What the fuck is happening? Well, it doesn't sound like the call was no big deal. It sounds like it was important to you. Sophie's alive. Did I... Did I actually manage to rewind time? Max, are you okay? It kind of seems like you're on drugs. Huh? Oh. No, I'm just... really happy you're here with me. And your mom. So, drugs then? Sorry, uh, what were we talking about? Somebody mentioned a phone call? Hmm, yes. I was shocked too. I didn't know people still answered their phones. Funny, Mom. And yeah, it wasn't a big deal. It was just from the publisher. Right, your book! The secret book! I'm so proud of my girl. Publishing is always such a difficult endeavor. Thanks, Mom. Is no one going to take our order? It's been, like, a few minutes. Have you ever had a food service job? Like, ever? I can go ask what the holdup is, Yasmin. No sweat. See? That is so thoughtful of you, Maxine. No need. The whole place could use a facelift, to be honest. Come on, Yasmin. You don't have anywhere else to be? I need to ask Sophie about... God, where do I even start? Is that? Oh shit. Dude, your nose. It's fine. Just a nosebleed. Um, back in a sec. How I interpreted it when you stood there two nights ago and said you wanted to go on a date. Oh shit. This Amanda never talked to me about slowing down our relationship. Because Sophie isn't dead. So, are you gonna tell me what happened? I drank, like, way too much the other night. I been in kind of a state. For two days? <laughs> Were you kids mixing liquor and paint thinner? I didn't mean to make you feel like crap. Hey. Shit happens. I won't bug you about it. Just didn't love it. I should get back to work. Take it easy, eh? Okay. I still talked to Amanda two days ago. So far, everything here seems basically the same, except... Okay, y'all, so I, I did click, like, right when it started, because I was reading the, like, her, the blog post or whatever, and the uh, text messages, so y'all didn't have to. It wasn't really saying much, just, like, um, after the, um, you know, the... I don't know if it's the eclipse, whatever it was, the seeing the stars and stuff uh, with Moti, Moses and I said Moti, Moses and Safi, um, that actually happened. So um, they went there, they seen, they seen the shooting star and stuff like that, whatever they were looking, looking at, whatever. Um, and I guess she did walk off and take a phone call or whatever the case may be. But in this reality, she came back and everything was fine. And this is like two days later now. And, um, she, uh, you know, just two days later, and I guess, um, she's either between worlds or something, I don't really know, but here, she, um, went two days without speaking to Amanda, 
So she's like, hasn't texted, hasn't called or anything like that. She's been texting her and calling her and stuff like that. And she hasn't answered any of them. Um, so she's, Amanda's pretty upset. Um, like, you ignored me. Like, what the heck? I thought you fell in a blizzard or something. And you haven't spoken or haven't even hit me up or anything. So, and the president, one of the presidents, she, you know, they're, they're just friends because Sophie died. But in this president, they were still going on a date because Sophie's alive. But she didn't hit her up for two days, so she's mad at her. Okay, that makes sense. Let's get back to it. I was hoping my nosebleed days were behind me. It feels connected to that humming and whatever caused it. You mean entirely? Gender neutral bathrooms, we love to see it. Holy shit. I'm I'm back, aren't I? In dead world. This is so fucking crazy. Just off rip, this is dead world. Because of all this. This wasn't in her book before. So yeah, this is definitely different. Um, go back to Sophie. Don't think I'll forget you trying to embarrass me in front of Dr. Hunter. Girl, Mom. Why is he texting stuff we may need to talk? This is Mac, did you you bought texting? That that thing How hard. could Vin mix me up with oh, Sophie? Yeah, huh? Alright, we are. Yeah, that was weird. Very much so, that was really weird. Okay, we're not gonna go through these. Just wanna see if there's any. Yeah, there's. You're still dead. I'll be reporting on Sophie's death as details. If you knew her, my DMs are open. And this was the last picture match took. It's just so sad. Oh shit! This is. The Amanda I talked to this morning? Max. You're here. I'm here. Surprise. You good? I'm okay. You really cheered me up earlier. Happy to lend out my comedic stylings to girls in need. <laughs> Thanks. Are you here for... We already talked in her office. She seems to be doing 
you know, bad. God knows. I offered her free coffee for as long as she wants it. I gotta get back to it. Don't forget I'm here for you, okay? Thanks, Amanda. Another Polaroid from our mystery photographer. No, Tony, I love it. I do. It's as thoughtful as ever. No, no buts. Only oh no, I hope Amanda didn't spend all her soup energy on cooking for me. I hate that they canceled Krampus for one dead student. Okay. Yeah, you have to say that. Oh. If I can't get on here, I will face God and walk backwards into hell. Another Yasmin. Oh, gee, Yasmin? She's... Hi, Yasmin. Oh, Maxine. You're here. I'd invite you to sit down, but... Uh... I understand. Okay, there's nothing else to do here, so let's go back to... The way back across. Okay, so I can cross back and forth. That's good to know. Safi and Yasmin are probably wondering where I am. I should get back to them. I still can't believe Safi is here. Alive. Having lunch with Yasmin as if everything is normal. As if I didn't see her die two days ago. In case this does all go sideways. It was supposed to be a candid. <sighs> You'll never catch me alive. Safia, come now. I swear, one day I'll get a candidate of Safi. Honestly, Safia, I wish you'd have told me sooner. I was getting around to it. All clear? We don't need to get you a blood transfusion. Don't worry about it. Nothing on. 
Anne? Oh, I'm golden. Probably just the weather, you know? Oh, did the forecast call for massive nosebleeds? Duty calls. Send me the bill for the windshield, please, Safia. Windshield? Another piece of shit pie. Someone... Hold on, it's easier if I just show you. Jesus. Fuck, Safi. Is that your car? Charming, right? Found it this morning. You don't think it's some sort of a threat? From who? Vegans? Stop eating burgers, or this is about to be you. <laughs> this is gonna sound bananas, but I feel like I've met this cow. You have. It's from right over there. <sighs> Whatever, I gotta meet the tow truck. Wait, hold on. The broken horn. It looks like there was something written on it. Max, you know I adore you, but... Read the room, bud. I'm not really in the mood to stare at photos of my fucked up car all day. Yeah, sorry. It's okay, Marthy. She's gone. Oh, tell me my proposal was shitty, Isabel. That would be a bald faced lie, right? I challenge you. I challenge anyone on this. Campus. I guess that prankster hasn't been back. Bet Amanda's glad. Hold up. Safi's alive in this world. Her car probably didn't get trashed in the other, right? The only thing more surprising than her rejection was the speed of The skull's missing here, but... Oh, that's just, you know, a doorway to dead Oofa doofa. That's gonna take some getting used to. There she is, safe and sound. Fuck, size does matter. I'm going to have to find a way to get up there. I'm pretty sure I just saw a stepladder. Where was that? Safi came to visit Moses in our lab all the time. I know I saw a stepladder. My memory's not that bad, so... Dude literally knows 
I know I saw a stepladder. My memory's not that bad, so where is it? Finally, a chance to live out my lifelong dream of being a tall girl. Did you do any campus activities when you were in school? I didn't know all about my college. Yeah, I know, but your GPA. Oh, that's just, you know, a doorway to dead world. Is that a signature? Ugh, this is so stylized I can barely read it. Lucas Colmenero. Lucas Colmenero. Oh shit. Did Lucas smash Sophie's windshield? He's a dick, but I don't know if he's a property damage level dick. But why would anyone else bother snapping his name off? Weird. This is weird. I wonder if anyone at the Snapping Turtle saw the whole thing go down. Mm, mystery. I, uh, I'm gonna stop right here. I'm a cliffhanger. Um, stop in the present world, the dead world. And yeah, let me know what you guys think so far. Yeah, I think. Did it? And could we stop it from happening? Who knows? And yeah, tune in for the next episode. Thank you guys for being here. Don't forget to tune in. Don't forget to follow or subscribe. Like and hit that bell to be notified every single time I post. And stay tuned for